The Longford Collector. The Longford Collector, um, it's uh, the second of a set of three tunes popularised by Michael Coleman back in the 20s and 30s. Um, Michael Coleman, of course, was the great Sligo fiddler. Um, it's the middle tune sandwiched between the Tower of Bolton and the Sailor's Bonnet. Um, it starts on a big G. Um, and of course there's always the tendency to sound the octave, the bass string as well. And uh, if you do that, it's always very tempting to overplay it. If you're going to use two strings, remember it's going to sound loud, even if you play it gently. So uh, try not to overstate it. So. There's our opening uh, phrase. Okay, and that brings us back to the big G. So from the beginning we have a big G. Another G. So, in the basic version, I mentioned several times about the, the long G that starts this tune. And uh, if we keep playing it the same way, of course, it gets pretty boring. So I'm going to give you a few different versions of that G. Um, it's a dotted note normally. But we can make it into uh, a quarter note and a dot. Um, so one time you might play, second time you might play. Doesn't change it much, but it gives the, it alters the rhythm slightly. Um, and when you put the two G's to, uh, in there instead of one long one, you might consider a, a grace note on the, on the end one. And of course, the bringing in the bass string is always an option, the octave. Then we have a straight roll, like a, a dotted note roll. Or we could have our quarter note and eighth note and just put a roll on the, on the quarter note. So um, another option is to um, make them all eighth notes, maybe dip down to the uh, F sharp. So instead of, you might play. So there are three, four different ways of playing the G. 